Today in this video guys, I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite features in Diamond Dynasty. This is a feature that has been in the game for the past few years, and I think it's what makes MLB The Show truly unique to other ultimate team card collecting fantasy type modes that are on the market like Madden and NHL and 2K and all those. MLB The Show will actually update the live series cards in the game depending on what happens in the regular season. So if Mookie Betts, as you can see, he's a 92 overall on the screen right there in left field if Mookie Betts is going absolutely off you know he's looking like he's gonna win another American League MVP if he's going crazy he has a chance to get upgraded up to like a 93 or a 94 or whatever his live series card will change in real time with the season to reflect how he is playing it's also a good way to make stubs you can invest in a card when he's a gold and then hopefully he turns into a diamond and you can sell him for more stubs than you bought him for for once that actual roster change happens but those roster updates only happen every two weeks so you know there is two weeks in between each one where you're just kind of waiting to think about who might be going gold who might be going diamond but there are actual daily attribute updates in MLB the show that kind of go under the radar I'm talking about a feature called inside edge as you can see if you get on diamond dynasty today and you're unaware of how this works a lot of the cards in your inventory who are a live series will have an up up or down arrow above their rating and have a different number above it for example let's just go ahead and take a look at Mookie Betts Mookie Betts is a 92 overall diamond but he's playing up to a 94 Mookie Betts has a plus 10 on the day against lefties so really his contact today is 87 100 and his power is 65 87 because those attributes are reflecting his live series card so once again this feature is going to be called in Inside Edge and it will only affect live series cards and if you want to take a look at Inside Edge just go here in the third tab on the squad screen and it says Inside Edge and roster update and here you will see Inside Edge matchup rating and it'll tell you everything you need to know you can see this guy Brad Keller he is a 69 overall bronze and he is playing up to a 79 he's a bronze that is basically playing up to almost a gold because he's got plus 21 against uh, or for his hits and K's per nine. So really, his hits per nine today is gonna be an 85, where his K's per nine are going to be a 70. Now, the reason that this happens is because it tries to make the matchup accurate to what you'll see in real life. So right above me, right here, it says, Inside Edge Matchup Information. Current White Sox hitters are batting 238 in their last 538 ABs against righties who rely heavily on their fastball like Keller. So Keller on the Royals will be playing the White Sox. He is in a prime position to have a really good day because of the statistics. So his card is going to get upgraded for the day to match that inside edge matchup. Here's another guy, Greg Bird, right? His inside edge matchup information. Bird is slugging 800 with two extra base hits in 10 at bats against Kashner. So this is the pitcher he's going to be facing. So to reflect that, it's going to take the numbers he's had and it's going to affect his live series card to match what that matchup is going to be. So Greg Bird has 64 power against righties. That is going to be up 24 on the day. So really today he's going to have 88 power versus righties and then plus four to his contact versus righties as well. So he's getting a boost on the day. This isn't permanent. This is only for the matchup at hand so really inside edge is going to affect the game in many different ways if you go into battle royale and choose live series cards let's say you have a, a silver round in battle royale and you have a live series that live series might be playing up to a gold so you're technically getting a free gold card in that round as long as you play throughout that entire day you know later on he might be playing down on a certain day if the matchup isn't favoring him so you could actually get some good steals in battle royale drafts just by the inside edge on a live series player let's go ahead and talk about a guy who is actually going to be playing down on the day chris taylor uh, his inside edge matchup information. Taylor is batting just 158 against Zach Grinke. So he is the pitcher he's going to be facing. So Chris Taylor is going to get a four overall decrease today because of the matchup he is going against. Negative 11 to righties. So he's really going to be at 61 uh, 49 against righties, which is not very good at all. He's playing all the way down to a bronze. Another thing you can look at when you're looking at a player who is a hitter, it doesn't really work for uh, pitchers, I don't think. 
but when you're looking at a position player and you're wanting to take a closer look at his inside edge if you go to their player card and then press R1 a couple times whenever you get to this inside edge tab it'll actually give you a much bigger breakdown so head to head he doesn't have any advantage but against similar right-handed pitchers who rely heavily on their slider he has really good numbers so he has the advantage there versus other right-handers with low strikeout rates he is pretty good there five hits and eight at bats with a homer uh, versus other right-handed fly ball pitchers he's got the advantage there he doesn't have the advantage versus uh, bottom tier bullpens etc like these things are very in-depth and there's a lot of data that goes into these so rowdy he is playing up to a 75 he's he's a silver today he's a free silver and that's gonna lead me to the ultimate point of this video you guys gotta be looking at inside edge every day because there are going to be some steals in there daily based off these ratings so you could literally be playing with basically free diamonds every single day if you just pay attention to inside edge look at Trey Turner he's an 84 he's gonna be playing up to an 87 today he's gonna have 94 contact versus righties and what is that 71 power versus righties today that's much better than what he's currently he's playing all the way up to an 87 similar to uh, Sean Doolittle he's an 84 he's playing all the way up to an 88 he's almost at a 90 these he might be one of the best relievers in the game in tomorrow's diamond dynasty like you know what i'm saying like he is going to be basically a free diamond that you could throw in your bullpen for a day at no extra cost to you as long as you already have his card another guy Corey seager he's an 83 overall today he is playing up to an 85 he's back up to a diamond today he's got 101 contact with that plus 13 boost uh, 64 plus 13 will bring him up to what is that a, a 77 power against righties these things are basically free diamonds and you guys got to pay attention to them because they are truly going to make a difference in head-to-head -head play throughout the regular season even a guy like Ronald Acuna he's going for a lot on the market today he's playing up to a diamond plus 13 against righties 93 uh, what's that 89 power with that boost he's gonna be an insane hitter and he's not gonna cost you as much as the diamond granted Acuna may be the outlier because he's currently going for 14,000 stubs but either way you get the point it's free diamonds these guys are not gonna cost you the price of a diamond but you're able to use them without taking a hit and getting a bonus on their attributes now one thing that gets a little tricky with inside edge people kind of get confused about it is inside edge does not have a effect on roster updates let's say uh, who's a guy that's playing up let's say Lorenzo King he's playing up to an 87 today right he's got a plus 13 against righties to go with that 100 contact versus lefties let's say he is uh up on inside edge for like 10 days straight the the rating just isn't changing that doesn't mean that he is going to be going up to an 85 or an 87 in the next roster update remember the inside edge is reset every day and it analyzes the matchups every single day to bring that rating to you so it's not like oh lorenzo kane had five hits yesterday so today he's playing up to an 87 no it's who is he facing on the mound how has he fared in the past on these certain situations and that is how these ratings are made so don't like twist it to where you know a player is playing up for a while he's probably going diamond in the next update for those you just got to pay attention to what's happening in real life and kind of figure out do you think he has enough under his belt to actually get a legit upgrade in the next update also Blake Snell he's playing down on the day this is why you got to pay attention because Blake Snell if you have him in your rotation he's an 83 overall today he's a little bit worse he's an 81 overall so you might want to take him out of your rotation for today and replace him either with another guy who's up on the day or another guy who's not changed at all because you know he's going to be down to an 80 hits per nine and a 78 case per nine which is still good but not as good as 86 84 you know what i'm saying i know i'm kind of rambling at this point but basically all i want to get across to you guys is MLB The Show gives you a way to basically play with diamonds every single day, even if you don't have them on your team. If you just have gold cards, as long as you're paying attention to the inside edge and seeing how a card is up on the day or down on the day, you can actually have a really solid team without having to break the bank or without having to go crazy on the market or anything like that. So MLB The Show, I love this feature. Like I said, this is one of the features that I think truly makes this mode unique compared to other sports games i am a huge fan of it i love the regular season when diamond dynasty is here it's just the best so down in the comments let me know are you going to use inside edge uh who do you think is going to be up on inside edge a lot this year let me know your thoughts down there guys drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to keep up with all the mlb the show 19 stuff hopefully you enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one peace